was awarded sometimes before the inception of this administration that was abandoned. And uh, when this administration came on board, it did it fit that this project was completed and brought back to life. And uh, we have other sporting facilities around the stadium, like the basketball court, the lawn tennis court, the volleyball and uh, court. It's expected after completion that the stadium will have about 48,000 capacity. Because when we came in, we tried to improve some other areas. Okay. 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 So this is so far how we have done. Most of the structural works in the stadium have been completed. We are waiting for the roof. And thereafter, we follow by the fixing of this, which will be the last uh, thing to be done. And uh, the running tracks also of the stadium, which are according to the international standards, have also been completed. And by the time we finish from here, we go down to the pitch, we will be able to inspect what we have done. And uh, we have other sporting facilities at the basement of the stadium, like uh, wrestling, uh, boxing, and the rest of them we have places for them at the basement of the stadium where they can comfortably be carried out. And, uh, so far, this is the view, the overview of the stadium. At the back, you can also see some small hot there. There are also indoor sports uh, theaters for various sports in case of uh, having uh, uh, a game that will involve all competitions going on at the same time. So, this is how what we have for the stadium. Most of the building, the structural works have been completed. Most of the four works you see from outside are meant for the completion of the college where the roof is going to be sitting on. And uh, from there, we will take you around so that we go to see. The finishings are also on the way. Some have been ordered, they are already coming. And as soon as they arrive, we start fixing it. You are quite welcome, sir. Initially, uh, the stadium was having capacity about 28 to 30,000 seats. We increased uh, the capacity. The northern and southern part of the stadium were increased. Initially, the stadium also was without uh, roof. Now, we redesigned the stadium. Now, we're going to be fully covered. Because of the new uh, FIFA uh, requirements about uh, changing room, about some other facilities that the stadium is about to have, uh, practically the entire stadium was demolished inside. All the work were initially was demolished. We complete the work. Right now the stadium is having four changing rooms, so two teams can play, two can get ready for the next match. On the other side of the other side of the stadium, we have uh, four uh, indoor sport hall that can be used for different sports activity. We have also a recreational center that we created with spa, which includes things for the athletes. We have also um, about uh, 20 additional offices that we created for both maybe sports council or the ministry or other things. We are working in a very tight uh, uh, relation with the representative of you, who is going to be here on Thursday every two weeks. He used to come to check the job. Meanwhile, we, get, uh, we got a certificate uh, from the International Athletic uh, Federation about the running track. The running track now is certified and any world or any record can be recognized. Yes, that's it. We better see before we ask for that question. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> event here in this stadium, and uh, we are pretty sure that with the support of which the government, the governor is giving us this project by the second quarter of next year, should have been ready for competition. And uh, uh, 
because the pitch and the running tracks are already completed. The drainage system in the stadium is perfect. The stadium was complete, I mean the pitch was completed before the rainy season. And throughout the rainy season we never had any uh, flood in the stadium. Even when we are all aware that in the country the rains this year were very high. We didn't experience flood in the stadium. That shows that we have captured that problem. And uh, you can see our men are still working. We work here almost 12 hours every day because uh, we intend to achieve results. And, uh, the stadium is ready, sir. We hope that uh, you will command one international event to be hosted in this stadium at least in the next uh, 18 months or less. That is going to help us and it's going to promote sport in Plato and in Nigeria at large. We welcome you once again. Uh, if there are any comments, we are ready to entertain them. Thank you very much. Sir. Please, uh, questions. I have a Please comment, question. Comment, just comment. <laughs> well, I think, excuse me, honestly, from the depth of my heart, if you show me Don't the picture of Darío from where I was hmm? watching his events, I'll probably, sorry, I'll David Jang, I probably would say, yeah, David Jang, I would probably would say, ah, stay down, talk about that, please. But this man doesn't talk. And all I can say is I'm amazed, honestly. My personal self, I, I, I was taken aback. And I say that the footballers in this country, the Green Eagles and all that, honestly, there's nothing wrong with coming to camp here. It's not the seats they need, it's the pitch. It's ready. It's ready. Congratulations, Nigeria. That's all I can say. Um, my name is Masara Kim. This way now. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. FIFA certified and all that. But I am most uh, concerned about the futuristic nature of this stadium, considering the fact that uh, FIFA is said to be reviewing some of, his po of some of its policies, particularly as it concerns the hosting of international matches, which are, uh, has to do with uh, natural grasses being approved. Comment. 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 Question. Yes. Question. Just um, question on the, the cost. The cost, because in your outline you didn't give us the cost of this project, as at when it was reviewed. Next. Comment. Yeah, comment. comment. Everybody will okay. at 35 percent. Sorry, I'm the president. This one, this way, so that we can see. Yeah. Uh, you have what? SUG president, sir. Of this one? Yes, you Are you sure? <laughs> Very sure, sir. We can shake you first. We actually want to applaud the effort of the state government. This is wonderful, very lovely. I was telling my escorts that this is London because we've never seen anything like this in Plato State. We want to applaud the effort of the state government and to also welcome you, sir, to Plato State. Thank you very much. What's your name, please? Nando. And then introduce yourself properly. I'm Nando Dixon Jolshik, the acting president, University of Jobs, Student Union Government. Well, I'm glad that all of you are here with me to see this project. If we talk about Plateau, usually people would not want to give you a second chance. Sometimes when you mention Plateau, everybody pulls back and all sorts of negative things are, you know, blown out of proportion. But I believe that the Good Governance Tour team are here and you've seen this. I'm excited. Uh, last month I had the opportunity of flying when we came to assess the uh, flooding situation and I saw this and I couldn't believe this was a uh, plateau from the air and I'm happy standing right on the pitch now and I want to congratulate the governor 
He is the silent achiever. He doesn't make noise about it. You've gone round, you've seen the roots, and you've seen the quality of the roots. Like I said earlier on, he inspects the projects himself, and if he's not satisfied, he tells you he's not happy about it. Because he's building these projects not for himself, not about himself, not for this generation, but for generations yet unborn. And I believe that the people of Plateau State would appreciate this and will continue to maintain these facilities so that many more generations will benefit from it. Thank you very much. President. Thank His Excellency for having this laudable project. I was just telling my National Secretary that uh, in view of what we saw, and I'm happy that the Honorable uh, Commissioner of Information is here, with support from the Minister of Information, and of course the Minister of Water Resources, we are likely to come for the New Year National Media Games here in uh, Black. <laughs> So honestly, I want to congratulate the government and the people of Plateau State for this wonderful project. I really congratulate you. Thank you. Sorry, can I just say that my own congratulation will only go to the Honorable Minister of Information for bringing the world attention to this place. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, my colleague, the Minister of Water Resources, uh, the National President of NUJ, a Commissioner of Information, Plato, and members of the State Executive Council, my fellow reporters and members of the Good Governance Tour Team. Um, well, <laughs> one of you said he was short of words when you, we came in here and we saw the standards, you know, uh, in this stadium. This is a state government project. Just imagine each of the 36 states was building an Olympic standard stadium of this quality in Nigeria. That means you have 36, sta 36 stadia. And with 36 stadia, what game can Nigeria not host? We'll be able to host the World Cup, we'll be able to host the uh, Olympics. If every state were to have a quality stadium of this, that would be 36. In addition to federal government stadia, Nigeria will be ready for any competition in the world. And it takes vision, it takes commitment, it takes discipline to get things done. It's not about money. There are many states that have more money than Plato. They will not have this at all because the vision was not there. Um, we are still going around. This is the first day of the good governor's visit. Plato in recent years, when you mention Plato, is the negatives we see in the newspapers because of the unfortunate violence that has been here. Right now, it is coming down. Because we have driven through Plateau and we see calm. We see normal normalcy returning to Plateau. You know, we're still you know a long road away, but I think we have traveled a distance. I will call on the people of Plateau to appreciate the beauty nature has given to this state. Every Nigerian wants to be here. Anybody in the world, you drive through Plateau State, you come here, you just feel like you know getting a plot of land to begin to set up a place to live in. But um, I decided on this good governance tour because often, like I've continued to say, we must report development. And I believe that uh, Governor Jiang, Jonah Jiang, uh, I am still, you know, going around. And I want to ask him the formula that he has <laughs> for this uh, <laughs> tremendous development that has taken place in Plateau, in spite of the challenges that he has faced. You know, this is my surprise. I have gone through the roads that he has constructed, we are just driving through one now, as we branch into this place. And I grew up in Joss. I have not seen any road of this quality in this place for a long while. And the roads we went through today to Forum, to the Dam, to Lamingo, to the University of Joss Teaching Hospital, and so on. And now the one we are driving through, in addition to this uh, beautiful stadium. I, I believe that if there is any evidence that democracy is delivering results, Plato State definitely is one of those evidences that I believe the media should convey to the nation. We will go on and continue the tour. I'm told that this stadium is now being supervised by 
FIFA. Uh, FIFA. FIFA is here every two weeks mm. to make sure that when we finish, we can host any game in the world here. I'm even more interested in the track. You know, that's, that's why I started uh, trying my dad can still uh, do something. Because uh, getting the right... Nigeria is an athletic nation. You know, we, we are in West Africa and in the world. Nigeria has done a lot in athletics. So we need the facilities to promote athletics. It can't always be football. So I, I know the contractor, he built the multipurpose uh, hall in Lafia uh, when I was deputy governor there uh, under His Excellency Governor Bladamu. And the, the hall is standard. So when I saw him in front there, I said, yes, uh, these guys will have gone to the right person. Um, well, we, we hope that in the next six months, the stadium will be covered and completed. This is a legacy stadium for the country. And it's something that youths of Nigeria, no matter where you are, you will be proud of. Yes. If we have this for our youths, and we have this in every state capital, Nigeria will beat the world in every area of sports. We need facilities. We thank His Excellency Governor Jang for this vision to complete this stadium in a very standard way. And uh, we believe that as it continues, uh, the state will be appreciated. Plateau is a place of tourism. Peace Tour is a beautiful place. <laughs> These are the facilities that will return the world to Plateau State. I, I, we are all impressed. You can see journalists are taking photographs instead of uh, being part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is really very, very good. Very, very good. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. 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 <laughs> move back. 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 Move That's your minister. Who is that? Oh, yeah, now. Ah. Can't you take her and move there? Ah. Take now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.